All right. You folks from the Treasure Hoarders, yeah? I thought I insinuated in my letter there that you should have done like I done and put on a mask and a costume and so forth. But it seems you didn't all get the memo. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. Gutsy. <laughs> well, guess what? We don't need to go sneaking around everywhere wearing disguises because unlike you, we would never do anything so shameful that we would need to wear masks while doing it. Really? I was in the middle of my speech and everything! Well, wait a second now. You folks ain't no treasure hoarders. What game are you two playing? By royal decree! on my own and all. The treasure hoarders? Oh, man, they're my heroes. Wait a second. So... So, I thought I'd try and set up some sort of lucrative opportunity, then submit my pledge of loyalty. Wait a second. None of this is making any sense. Paimon was expecting a serial arsonist to be someone more... sinister, evil-looking. But instead, we get you! Arson? What the heck are you talking about? Don't pretend! Paimon's seen you loitering around piles of highly flammable materials! <laughs> Tell us you diabolical- <laughs> Okay, I, I give up. Give up now, or feel I an apprentice thief? Uh, yeah, for a greenhorn like me, especially working on my own and all. The treasure hoarders? Oh, man, they're my heroes. Wait a second. So. Uh... So I thought I'd try and set up some sort of lucrative opportunity and submit my pledge of loyalty. Wait a second. None of this is making any sense. Paimon was expecting a serial arsonist to be someone more... sinister, evil-looking. Arson? What? Don't pretend. Paimon's seen you loitering around piles of highly flammable materials. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know where you're talking about. But I was only checking the place out. My plan ain't got nothing to do with those lantern construction materials. Are you serious? Well, I just wanted to nab me the biggest chunk of Plostrite in 20 years is all. I was gonna wait till nightfall, chop off half the tethers, float it out to sea. Oh. Then, all I'd have to do is find some way or another of bringing it down, so I could hide it underwater in the shallows. The perfect crime. Crime, it sure has a lot of holes. For example, how exactly were you planning to bring down the Plostrite once it was airborne? Well, I was still in the process of figuring out the details, hence why I hadn't made my move yet. This guy is an imbecile. Okay, let's teach him a lesson. Now that the Millilith have gotten hold of that idiot, Let's head back. We can notify the Ministry of Civil Affairs. 